What's going on, adventurers? VKJ, he's back in action. Philadelphia International Airport. I'm here. Mark is here. It's happening. Mark Haynes doing stuff. It is really early in the morning. It is 3 o'clock in the morning. And we are here about to get on a flight heading to Florida because we got to cruise, baby. We're going to be cruising in the Caribbean. Oh, yeah. Bounce, bounce, we got two sexy senoritas coming up from South America. Join us on this travel day adventure from Philadelphia International to Fort Lauderdale, the land of retirees. And we're taking a cruise, celebrity cruise, because you know your boy VKJ now is a celebrity. Let's go. You like it? I love it. A few moments earlier. Yeah, buddy. Goodbye, VKJ's dad. We are now here. We've made it to the airport. We are taking the most expensive airline that there is, Spirit Airlines. And Spirit Airlines, it's so awesome. We're not staying in first class because there is no class. Bada bing, bada boom. The line already is massing in size. VKJ's hair looks fantastic today. It's extra puffy. Mark helped me highlight it. I look great. Oh my goodness, the line is already wrapped around. Look at this. It's very exciting. All these smiling faces, so bright and early today. Everyone's really quiet. They should be, they should be excited. I know. All right, so the last time I took a spirit flight, when I got to the, the actual ticket booth inside the airport, they totally screwed me. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna make sure my backpack fits into the personal item. Let's go. Boom, take that spirit. Don't even think about charging me for this stuff. Yep, read it and weep. That's called no hundred dollars when we get to the ticket booth, that's what I'm saying. Just wanted to get this real right quick here. So it says right there, all the rest of the signs say, Welcome to Philadelphia. This one says, Welcome to Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know where that is, but we're welcome to it. Let's go. 
You had Mark. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm going. Do you need our passports? All right, so we're finally here to put in our luggage. Start the start the journey. Here, Mark, give me a, yeah, buddy. Forty passes. Ching, Mark, you got your pass. No, we're in the same reservation. Right? Yes. You got all of our stuff, Mark? All right, so the bags have been checked successfully. We've done it. We've made it through this huge line here at Spirit. The biggest line that has ever been at Spirit Airlines is right here. Look at all these happy people. we Everyone's getting ready to go on this roller coaster. They don't realize it, but this is a great roller coaster right down here at the end of this line. Super fun. Gonna love it. Just kidding. No roller coaster. But if there's enough turbulence on the plane, then it's kind of like a roller coaster. Here at the Philadelphia airport, just like every airport, there's two obstacles that you must overcome in order for your, your trip to be successful. Number one, uh-oh, uh excuse us. First thing you gotta do is you gotta check your luggage. We've already accomplished that goal. Second thing is getting through airport security, which is also, you never know what's gonna happen. So this is, the, this is the best part. We're heading up the escalator right now, and by the time we hit the, the top of the escalator, we will know how crazy it is at the security checkpoint. There could be nobody there, or it could be so long, it could take us an hour to get through it. All part of the fun, excitement here at the airport. What are you doing? <laughs> You're getting crazy. Oh, looks like there's a long line. It looks like there's there's one area open right there to get in. All the other places are closed. Looks like the airport's hurting for, for staff. So if you want to get a job here at the airport, I'm sure they're hiring because it looks like uh, they can use the help. The line is still going. Still going! This is the longest I've ever seen it! Really longer than this? Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You get in line, please. Alright, adventurers, so I made it through the TSA security checkpoint here. They had the dogs out today. They sniffed the VKJ. So guess what? That means you didn't have to take off your shoes. But the good news is, VKJ didn't have on any shoes. Now that we're past the security checkpoint, we're on our way to our gate. I know, it's all downhill from here. I'm hungry, Mark, let's get something to eat. That's true, it is very early still. A lot of the places are just opening up here at Philadelphia International Airport. A place is called Good To Go Fresh Fast Food. Delicious. They got Chick-fil-A, Subway, Chickies and Pete's, Burger King, and they got everything. One thing I always thought was hilarious about airports is that a lot of the restaurants open and close at all these bizarre hours that people are actually flying in and out of the airport and there's like nothing open. I never understood some of these places well, why wouldn't you not just either open up a little bit earlier, stay open a little bit later? Like, they still have, like, regular hours, but yet, I don't know, does it make any sense? Does that make any sense to you? So we're here at the Philadelphia airport. I decided to get something to eat here. I got, looks like we're getting some chicken teriyaki with rice. Eating good in the neighborhood. Let's see how much something like this costs. That's it. Listen this and this. Oh, great. Right. So right there it says seventeen eighty two. So now we got our food here at the Philadelphia Airport. We're gonna be eating good on this flight. Not messing around. Not messing around with this this on board. We got it at the Gashi Sushi and Noodles. I totally pronounced that wrong, but it doesn't matter because you'll figure it out once you get here. If you ever get here, and you should get here. The world is your oyster, and VKJ is your tour guide. I know, I gave him a tip. You didn't give him a tip? Well, they didn't do nothing. All we did was pick up the, we picked up the drink and the oh, food ourselves. Oh no, you gotta tip everybody now, buddy. They even asking if you wanna like leave your extra spare change. 
Don't you know what I'm saying? I don't do it. <laughs> All right, zone three and four. We're now boarding. We're heading up. Everybody's getting into the shuttle. The the cattle shuttle. The cattle shoot. Oh, how you doing? Nope, I told you because I double checked. I was like, nope, this is not happening again. So we just scanned in our tickets. We're walking down the, what, are the, what is this called, do you think, Mark? Uh, the uh, ramp. The ramp. We're going down the ramp onto the plane. You can hear the plane noises in the distance. That's a welcoming sound for the adventure to start to begin to Florida. To the cruise, to the Caribbean. Here we go, we're going in. Oh yeah. Good morning. Good. All right, so we are 8B. Eight, eight right here. Damn. All right, Mark. And B is the center. Where are you at? The aisle. Aisle? Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. So me and Mark are now on the flight. And we're about to eat our meals. Mark's been chowing away already. And the hilarious thing about Spirit is that the tray is barely big enough to even hold the bowl. So either we got a lot of chicken or that's a really small tray. Sitting next to Mark is very difficult <laughs> in a plane. So either I need to stop working out too or it's going to be a problem. <laughs> or not fly spirit. That's right, or not fly spirit. That's true. It's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's as you would think. It's got a little bit of teriyaki flavor. It's got the steamed rice. Because unfortunately, on Spirit Airlines, there is no food service. They might give you some nuts. That's a they don't give me nothing. They give me nothing? What? Give you a give you a swift kick in the ass. That's true. They give you some they give you some chips. You gotta order that. So we are here now in Fort Lauderdale Airport. Took a little nappy poo on one of these benches because boarding down there at the port didn't start until around 11 o'clock or uh, something like that. So now we ordered an Uber, which costs us approximately, I guess we can go out right here. Cost us about $11 or so to get from the Fort Lauderdale Airport to the port. The cruise port here in Fort Lauderdale. Not the one in Miami, don't be confused. It's not too far away, it's probably maybe 11 minutes. No big deal. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so she asked us if we had any weapons that we're taking on the cruise. No, we're just party animals. Turn right, then turn left. Celebrity cruise, yes. That's all. 
get out right here? No. Hello. Hi, Woo. We made it to the port here in Fort Lauderdale to do our cruise. Celebrity Equinox. Oh yeah, baby. All right, so this is all of our information for, gets us to the room yes, sir, right man, there, man. okay? Nah, I cool. Take any back here, man. All right, you cool. Uh, no, Please I guess don't forget to make your passport, okay? Hold on to your passport. Okay. Thank you for coming. Thanks, man. Um, do we need to have anything else when we go over there and check in? No. Check in right now, man. Okay. We got the luggage checked. The only thing, though, is, is they're going to have to do the same thing. And I don't know how we're going to orchestrate that. We might have to, we have to wait out here for them to get here. So, so it looks like once you get here to the to the area where you're at the cruise, you got to make sure that you have your information on your bags so they can get the bags to your room. You could do that beforehand, obviously. We just decided just to do it right here, no problem. All right, adventurers. Just to recap, VKJ has arrived here at the Fort Lauderdale air uh, at the Fort Lauderdale port. And we're about to get on the Celebrity Equinox cruise ship for the adventure. We're waiting for the sexy senoritas to show up. And just to give you a little recap here, just to kind of get you up to speed to what's going on. So basically, we flew down from uh, Philadelphia in the Northeast to be down here now in Fort Lauderdale to board the flight. We have these two sexy senoritas coming up from Ecuador in South America, meeting us here, and then we're all leaving from here to go on our adventure. Um, yeah, and that's what it's all gonna be about. We're, we're asking you to join us on Sexy Secret Vacations. My name is Vake KJ. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, hit that notification button, because it's going to be an awesome adventure on the cruise, and you know, you might wanna know how it would be if you met someone and you wanted to take them from another country, you know, and do something like this. So it's gonna be an awesome experience. Um, I'm a little tired. I, it's been a long night of traveling so far, but we're still gonna make the most of it. That's what we do, baby. Let's go. Wow, that boat looks awesome. That is the look right there. There it is. Celebrity Cruises, Celebrity Equinox. That is the look right there. Water activated light. Life jacket instructions are also in the back of your stateroom door and in our app. You gotta watch a little bit of a safety video before you get on. So you have to do a little bit of a safety thing when you get on the ship. And we just did that one, we did this one, we did that one. Now we gotta visit our assembly station. There you go, you heard it here first. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. You made it. Hey, what's up? Hey, baby. Okay. Yes. Uh, hola. Bienvenido. Mucho gusto. Si, uh, tu omeletas, these hombres. All right, the ladies have finally have arrived. Now we're about to go in. Awesome. All right, now we found, we got the luggage checked and we're heading into the cruise. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Equinox. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everyone is welcome to check in at this time. Thank you yep. for joining us. Please make your way to the front door Perfect. for check-in. You will need it. Mark made it in. There you go. So we now made it through, and now we're boarding the ship here in Fort Lauderdale on the Celebrity Equinox, Equinox, I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Nobody has moved the PC. <laughs> <laughs> All This is 
not the Titanic. Whoa. Mark. No Titanic. <laughs> you're, not, you're no Leonardo DiCaprio, okay? Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So first thing I'm going to do as soon as I get on the ship is I'm going to check out the room, fill you guys in on our balcony suite room. It's going to be awesome. Yep. Yeah. The ship sinks. We're going to jump on those things. Yep. Yeah. And we made it. Hello. Thank you. Look at this guy right here. He's got a big spoon. It looks the. I uh, see. Hello. How are you? Love it. Amen. Thank you. There you go. Thanks, sir. All right. Got some. Got some disinfectant right there. Sushi restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have this on Primera Vez, Primera, so let's see here, uh, which is deck 10, so Diez, Piso. Yep. Uh-huh. Here's some of the different floors here on the Celebrity Equinox. And we are going right, we're going to, we're, we're going to sleep in the library. <laughs> On the, on the libros. <laughs> Let's go. We're going to 10. Ooh, sure, of course. Sorry. Look at that. Wow. We got the DJ down there right now. He's playing some music and everybody ready to party. We're going to the sun deck, 14. Are you going to the sun deck? Yeah, they have food and booze up there. Well, of course. <laughs> Alcohol. It's 14. Uh, you yeah. push 14. Sure. Thank you. What number? I see the casino in there. All the lights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Craft social. Which way are we going there? <laughs> what a big ship. Yeah. Deck five. Wow, look at this. Where's the martini bar? Where's the bar? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> How do you get to the bar over there? <laughs> I know. Pardon me. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, so we have arrived here on deck number 10. Mm hmm. Okay, so we made it here to 1009. This is our room. I don't know how to get into the room. Yeah. Oh, very good. You've done it. <laughs> Here, can you take them out of there? Put it open. It's a gala. It's a present. All right. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there we go. Did it. Wonderful. Wow, look at that. And we have our own balcony here too. Which I think you have to do this. And you come out here. And right now you're seeing the port here, the Fort Lauderdale port, but eventually we're gonna be rolling around the Pacific. I'm sorry, not the Pacific, the Atlantic. What's wrong with me? Ooh, it's really high. Wait, alta. So let's look around the room real quick here. So you got a little bit, you got some water over here. It looks like the water is not included. It's uh, $5.50 for the water. 
We do have some champagne. Very good. For to drink. Again, I guess that's complimentary. You got a couch right here. It's pretty wonderful. Looks pretty comfy. Nice flat screen television. Awesome. The bed looks pretty comfy. Looks probably about, I don't know, it could be a king size bed. It's very nice. You got some nice uh, paintings here. So you got like a girl swimming in the, in the pool or the ocean. What else? You got this one over here where it's pretty interesting. It's like a girl in a bathing suit, but her face has been like worn away. So it could be you. That could be you right there. I've been on cruises a couple different times, and if you've never been on a cruise before, cruise rooms are typically a little bit smaller than like a regular hotel room. So if you're like, oh my gosh, it's not super huge, then that's probably why. Um, but still, a room like this is pretty awesome when it comes to cruises because on cruises you have the interior staterooms um, and then you have like with no window at all, I mean it's like a prison, um, then you have ones that have like a port, like a hole you can look out and then you have um, this one which is the, the balcony room, right? And then you have like, I don't know, like super suites which Unfortunately, VKJ is not can afford that yet. But with you guys, with you guys' help, you never know. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the bathroom here. Okay, so it looks pretty cool. I mean, this place is pretty modern. I have to say. I mean, it's definitely a very nice, very nice room. You got some, uh, you know, area over here to put some stuff in. Of course, you got a nice little sink poo right there, very modern looking. Got a stand-up shower, very cute. Of course, uh, you know, that action right there. Nice big mirror, big KJ is always looking fabulous. Uh, yeah, so it has these, these uh, toiletries that have come with it. It's called Bigelow. I don't know, does anybody know this company? Bigelow, established in 1838, 6th Avenue. Oh, it's a New York company. Smells very good. People are getting the drink on already. Pacinas. People aren't wasting any time. Yeah. And the Ocean View Cafe. There it is, Ocean View Cafe. It looks like with the buffets happening. Yay, welcome aboard. You can sign up your specialty restaurant here or beverage package. Okay, if, we, if we're going in here though, we just go in. All right, cool. Thanks. Here only if you want to make your reservation or beverage package. Okay, sure. Oh, tomorrow's. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we made. All right, so now we're in the buffet. We're walking around the buffet, but now I need to find Mark. And Mark's a big person. Mark is a muy grande, yeah. No. Sandra Olivia. Okay, yeah, let's see. Oh, there they are. We found you. What's going on? <laughs> welcome, welcome to Celebrity Cruises, the Equinox. <laughs> Very good. departure. Thank you. We got we got a show going on right here at the buffet. We got some pepperoni pizza right here. We're gonna do it. It's a little pizza, a little piece of pizza. Oh yeah, look at that. It smells good. Ooh, what's this? See roasted ground beef. Ooh, can I have a slice, yeah. please? He sliced it off a nice, fresh piece of roast beef right there. Oh man, thank you. Thank you. There we go. Got it. 
the best part about buffets, right, is you can just like do what VKJ does. Just get everything. Just get a lot of stuff. Pile it on. Pile it on the plate. Go over. Try it out. You might like it. You know, take some, take some, you know, chances. I mean, look at this plate. What? It looks delicious. Come on. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Last but definitely not least, look at all these pastries they have here. Oh my goodness. This one's so good, someone already took a bite of it right there. Let's see, mango cake, matcha cake, red velvet cake. Ooh, that, looks, that sounds good. We'll get one of these right here. But the greatest part about buffets, right, is you can like get all this good stuff and then you can try it a little bit. And if you like it, you can continue to eat it. If you don't, well, you can just leave it there. So, it doesn't really matter. I know, waste not, want not. I get that. And I try not to do that as much as possible, but you never know unless you try. VKJ, it's all about trying new things. Let's go. Okay, now it's time for the dessert. Taste tester. Here. Okay. okay. So, got all this goodness going on right here. This one right here is going to get big. So, let's see what this is about. This is more it's like a cream. I don't know. What's on the bottom here? What's the... What's the situation going on on the bottom? Hold on. I don't know. It's okay. It's like a... It's like a cherry cream. Get on top. Cream. Don't you stop. Shot boogie down. Okay. Now let's see what's next. We've got got this uh, some sort of tart I think this is like a tart thing so here we go um, mm, I don't know I'm not sure this one. I think it's, it's a red velvet cake Eh, it's okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Need some candles. No, at dinner. I'm gonna count to her. Dressing it to better tea. One more. Nope, nope. Our one was not very good. It was like a blueberry. My favorite one, I think, was the cheesecake. This cheesecake was good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How many of you? The third day. Did you enjoy your meal here at the buffet, Mark? I enjoyed it thoroughly. It was amazing. I got two plates of food. Yeah. A lot of protein. Met some very cool people. This is our friend over here. Who? This is, our, this is my new friend over here. That's your new friend? There she is. She's from Zimbabwe. Okay. She told me all about it, all about the animals over there. Oh, that's wonderful. She said it's really hot though, so. Are, it, are you always here in the restaurant? Tomorrow night, any night. Are you always here in the restaurant? Oh, in the restaurant? Yes. Okay. All right, all right, great. Well, then we'll, we'll see you a little bit later. Sure. Bye. Bye. Oh man, I'm so stuffed. I ate so much stuff here at the buffet. I'm bursting at the seams. Mark told me not to eat a lot of pastries, but I did it anyway. Nice. Mark's starting already. Okay, so we just finished our safety video checkup life preserver thing. Now we're completely checked in. We're ready to rock and roll and party for Paola's birthday. So it's her birthday today, and we're going to be drinking a lot of tequila. Te te uh, I don't know, say. Okay, uh, KS2 favorito. Uh, favorito? Uh, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, yeah sure. Whiskey. Whiskey. Any any una nombre? No. El como es Fireball. 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 Uh -huh. Oh, can, canela. Canela. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. She likes Fireball whiskey, uh -huh. and that's why we love her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 